Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can sync your Outlook calendar with Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Let's start by opening the calendar view in Gmail. Unlike Outlook or other email providers, it's not immediately obvious how to access the calendar that's associated with your Gmail account. There are a number of ways to do it, but I'll show you the fast method I use. I'll start by moving my mouse pointer to the right hand side of the Gmail inbox. I need to open the right hand panel of Gmail and to do that I'll move down to this small arrow in the bottom right and click on it once. The Gmail side panel is then opened. This panel provides quick access to a number of Google Apps such as Google Contacts or Google Tasks. The Google Calendar can be accessed by clicking on the top icon in the panel. This opens up a view of your Google Calendar today. Now that we can see the Gmail Calendar, the next step is to open a new tab in the browser. I'll now log into the Outlook account that has the calendar I want to add to Gmail. If you're already logged into Outlook, you can visit this page at the link shown on screen. This link can also be clicked on directly from the description below. We've logged into Outlook to get a copy of the link for our Outlook calendar, which we can use to add it to Gmail. You can find the calendar link by going into the settings section of Outlook. This can be found in the top right of the inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here, but the one we are interested in is the cog or gear icon. I'll click once on that to choose it, and a new panel is then opened. I want to go into the details settings of Outlook, however. Click on the View All Outlook Settings link. A new page is then presented, with a number of settings shown on the right. The email settings section is already open by default, but I want to click into the calendar section below that. I'll then dive into the shared calendars option shown to the right. The new page that opens shows some options to share or publish our Outlook calendar. I'm going to move to the publish section. And if I click on the drop down to select a calendar, my main Outlook calendar is shown. I'll click once on that to choose it. Outlook then asks you to choose how you want to publish the calendar. If I click on the permissions drop down, there are two options. The first view will only share when you're busy and when you're free, but won't show any detail. If you want to share full details of your calendar, then you should choose the second option, as I'm going to display all details. Once you've chosen the best view for your calendar, to confirm that, click on the large blue publish button. Two links are then displayed for your Outlook calendar. If you share the first link, HTML, this will allow anyone to look at your calendar using a web browser. As we want to sync the calendar with Gmail, however, we should use the second link, ICS, which is specifically used to share calendar information with an email or calendar program. Let's click on it once to choose it. Two actions are then shown, but we're interested in copying this link to add to Gmail, so I'll click on the Copy Link option. Outlook then confirms that the link has been copied. I'll now return to the Gmail account and I'll show you how to add the Outlook calendar to Gmail. The first step in doing this is to open your full Google Calendar app. You can quickly do this from Gmail by moving to the calendar panel on the right. At the very top of that panel, you'll see an arrow icon, which if I move my mouse over it, allows us to open the calendar view in a new tab. Let's click on that. This shows your full calendar view, including in the left hand panel all of the calendars that you have access to. I'm going to move to the other calendar section near the bottom of that panel and you'll see next to the other calendars heading there is a plus sign icon with an option to add other calendars. Let's click on that once to choose it. A number of different options are then shown, each offering you a different way to add a calendar. To add the Outlook calendar however, I'll move to the From URL option and click on it once to choose it. A new page is then displayed, asking us to add a URL. You'll remember the link we just copied from Outlook. This is the link you should paste into this box. I'll quickly do that. If you want anyone to be able to view your calendar, you can choose to make it publicly accessible. I want to keep mine so that only I can view it in Gmail, however, so I won't choose that. To confirm the calendar details you've added, click on the large blue Add Calendar button. If I now move back to the main calendar view, you'll see that some Outlook calendar events for today have been added to this calendar view. Let's quickly go back to Gmail, however, and you'll notice that Outlook events aren't shown in this calendar view. 
This is easy to fix, however. If I move my mouse pointer to the top right of the panel, you'll see a three dots or ellipsis icon shown here. If I click on that once, some further options are offered. Let's move down to the Select Calendar options and click on that to choose it. This lists all of the calendars we can potentially view in Gmail, but you'll see that not all of them are selected. In the Other Calendars section, a new calendar has been added. Very unhelpfully, it's just called Calendar. I can select that by just clicking on the small box to the left of it. If I now return to the day view for the calendar, by clicking on the back arrow in the top left of the panel, you'll see that the Outlook Diary events we saw earlier are now displayed in Gmail. I hope you find this Wogo Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.